Oh no, it's the wrong way. Okay, I will have to pay attention. Ah. Um, yeah, that might happen a few times. So, and what exactly am I planning to do? Well, I mentioned it uh, the last time already as well. I'm planning to add uh, some pillars inside the building. So I will be placing some, uh, some ceilings, some fence foundations, and afterwards some pillars. I'm gonna have to go down because I didn't pick up my, my ceilings. So the goal is to add one row of pillars on each side here and continue up until the end, completely uh, until the bow and even have some pillars up here. Now uh, I need ceilings first of all. Uh, I'm gonna grab some small adobe pillars here. I might need those. I will need ceilings. I will need plenty of ceilings. Uh, not quite sure how many I have left. Oh, I have enough left. Okay. So I have fence foundations too. That's perfect. And... Ah... Uh, Night has fallen. Typical. On standard arc, each time you start recording, it starts to rain or fog kicks in. On scorched earth, it's uh, the night that falls. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, the night is going pretty fast, so it will be only dark for a few minutes. So let me get up the top and get ready to build. And I will talk to you guys once, uh, once the night is gone and day has dawned. Or something like that. Okay, the sun is rising again, so it's time to get some building done. Now, what I wanted to do is uh, place some pillars, and I will need to place uh, ceilings here, and then a fence foundation up there. And once... Oh, no, it's the wrong way. Okay, I will have to pay attention. Ah. Um, yeah. That might happen a few times. Luckily I have good armor and a fall from this height doesn't hurt me all that much. Okay, let's try that again. So what I wanted is... Uh, I have one here, I have one here, so I will be placing a ceiling up here and a pillar Like that, that's good as well. Now I can place one pillar. So I need to keep doing that. Place a ceiling, one fence foundation on this side. And then I can place a pillar like that. And I will be doing this for the whole side of uh, the building. So I will be speeding that up a little bit so you don't have to watch me place this for half an hour and you can enjoy the result afterwards. So let me finish that and uh, I will talk to you guys once I'm uh, ready to show you the next step. Let's go back to that little place where we used to go in the summer days. The lodge by the water still my favorite place and I could come every year and it wouldn't change. Okay, well, the front side is done. Now we will have to do the same thing on the back side, but on the back side, I will need two rows of pillars. So, um, oh, down. Uh, let me think. Um, I have one there, I have one here, so I should be placing something like that. And I have my foundation. On that side, 
Yep. And then two more. Two. Place my foundation on that side. And then I can add my pillar up here. Yeah, this is looking perfect. So I will have to do that now for the whole backside of the cathedral. And uh, yeah, again, I will be speeding up that a little bit so you don't have to watch uh, me place every single block. So I'm gonna be talk to you. I'm gonna be talking to you guys once I have uh, finished the backside as well. <laughs> Okay, I'm done with placing the pillars up top and next up I should try to bring uh, everything down to the bottom like I did here. So uh, it, it's it's a little bit, uh, how, how should I say, it's, it's, yeah, sometimes it snaps, sometimes it doesn't. I have no idea why. Like for example, I could make it snap to the top of the pillar but not to the bottom of the pillar, which is strange to me. I want it to snap to the bottom of that pillar. I can make it with uh, the small ones. That's no problem at all. The small ones do snap. The medium ones, well, I had them snap earlier. Yeah, you see? Like that. And I'll place another one. Hopefully. It doesn't want to snap to the bottom. Oh yeah, it did there. Come on. Why? Yep, that's it. 
So that's what I'm going to do with all those pillars. Uh, it will take me a while, so I will be speeding up everything again. And I will be talking to you guys once I have placed all my pillars.
Okay, I'm back with another update and I'm done with the pillars and you might have noticed I had more luck placing the big pillars if I started from the top for some reason. So I couldn't place uh, the large ones like these snapping immediately. Yeah, no, it works because there is already one. But earlier it didn't work, but when I was up top on the ceilings I could make uh, them snap correctly. Now there is one more thing, one small thing I might rethink and that's this here. I, hmm. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I might leave it the way it is, but uh, I'm not happy with, uh, with the placement of these gates. I think I might yeah, move them one, uh, one area to the, to the right. Well, anyway, let me explain you. If I enter here and run into this pillar and I don't really want that, I would love the, the gates to be yeah, here. Maybe I can actually do it really quick. Mm. The only thing I will be needing... No, I don't need that. So I will need to remove the door frame. Yeah. And remove these pillars. I can use uh, the gun for that. I don't know if I showed that already, but uh, the S plus also has a vanilla demo gun. And if you keep it, you can shoot at things to uh, demolish them. Yep, that's what I needed. And this wall will go away. Yeah. And now I should be placing, well, remove this one first, but and place the gate up here. Let me check. Yep. That might be a little bit better. That way I don't run into the pillar when I enter that gate. Oh, inside out. And the glass wall on top. Yep. Perfect. The only thing I need is a row of pillars coming down from there. And uh, I will need the same thing up here. I will be removing the gate. I can... Uh, this pillar can stay, actually. Yeah. This pillar can stay, but this one... will get removed. So I'm removing the wall, the glass wall, and then I will be using my gun again to remove this pillar. And up until the top. Yep, and this wall can go too. And now I should be able to replace everything. So let me grab the door again. Well, the gate. Oh, yeah, like... Oh yeah, you see? Don't forget to unequip your gun. Because every time you push the left mouse button, it will remove whatever is on your crosshair. And as you might notice, I pressed the, the left mouse button to place the gate. But it also removed the foundation. Yeah, you could break a lot of things with uh, with that. So I'm gonna be placing the wall again. Like that, and now I can place the glass wall on top. And I will need to close those uh, holes there and have some pillars coming down too, but I will have to do that from the top. So I'm gonna climb up, oh, did I bring... Uh, I have two walls, yeah, but do I have any ceilings? I thought I put all... Oh no, I have some. Nice. So uh, I'm gonna climb up and fix that. I could have left it the way it was, of course, but uh, yeah, I think it, it looks better like that. Mm. Placing some scaffolding. Oh, I can't. Oh yeah, there is a gate there. Uh, yeah, like this is good. So I will be needing, I think, yeah, a pillar up here. And then another pillar below that. Come on, snap to the right one. Of course, it won't do it now. And replacing the walls 
perfect. Same thing on the other side. So I'm going to put up some scaffolding until we reach that area and I place the wall back again. Yeah, those are little adjust. No, not like that. Those are little adjustments I might be making throughout the build. Uh, yeah, if I don't like it, I'm better to uh, change it immediately. Yep, that's it. And now I will need one like that and <clears throat> one below that. Oh, come on, snap. Oh, you don't want to snap, do you? Okay, let me place another one like that. Oh, not there. Maybe it will make one now? Snap? Nah. Come on. No, it doesn't want to snap. Okay, then I will have to continue with uh, the small ones and probably go down to place the rest. Come on, snap, you fool. Yep, that's okay. Now I can remove this one as well and try to continue with the pillars up here as well. Perfect. I'm going to re be removing all of these things and I will be showing you the result from the inside. So I need a few more right here and I think I two more on this side too, just to make it perfect. I might change, uh, change it on, on this side too because right now, well it isn't symmetrical. I have two small windows then two large ones you see I here I have one small one large and then smaller so I'm probably gonna be changing that too uh, let me check can I oh yeah I can could I oh yeah I could make it snap nice so picking up the gun again and removing the pillars here. Yep, then I have two small windows, one big window which matches uh, the two blocks from the gate up there. Then I have again smaller ones and I should be placing some more pillars up here for finishing that as well. And let me check, can I place one of these? Would be even better. Nah, that won't work. Ah, come on, snap, you fool. Yeah, snapping the whole thing gets uh, messy sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna do it with these. And maybe now it will snap. Did snap dead. <sighs> Ark, I don't get you sometimes. Okay, and then I will need to remove these again too. Nice. And the last one. Perfect. You see what I mean? Now I have two smaller windows, then one big window, which has two blocks high, then again two smaller windows, one big window, though two blocks uh, uh, wide. And that then matches up with this side. I have two small windows, then I have a big gate, two blocks wide, two small windows, a big gate, two blocks wide, and two small windows. So this is how it looks like from the inside now. If you enter from the front. Yep, like this. You enter the cathedral. Oh, maybe I should add some, hmm, some ramps up here. You enter the cathedral and you see the cathedral, you have pillars on your side, which is normally pretty common in a, in a cathedral that you have those pillars on the side. And then the cathedral gets a little bit wider, which is also typical for big churches, cathedrals. And from that point on, you get two rows of pillars 
and then you have the backside, which is all our clover, and uh, I made the pillars come down there as well. So I think this this should be the area where the altar is, or uh, yeah, how do you call that? I think it's called the altar here. And from here on, well, I'll probably add some benches and other things. Hmm. Yeah, still a lot of work to do. But I think uh, that will be it for today's episode. We did uh, finish the first level. Now, next episode will be pretty similar to what we have done right now. I want the same thing, same height. Well, f probably five blocks because I will not... Uh, I think I'm, I'm, I will be just doing it the height of uh, one glass, big glass wall. But I will have the same thing up top. So the same setup with the walls, uh, the ceilings, the fence foundations and then the pillars and from that point onward we can start to think about the roof I'm not quite sure how I will do it I had been thinking about uh, adding a circular roof up here but <clears throat> not quite sure if that will be possible it would be nice if you could have like a roof which is which has one big hole one circle in here and then the next level the circle is a little bit smaller and then well you have the actual roof, but I'm not quite sure if I if I will be able to do that and how I should do that. So I'm, I will probably be trying a few things. In single player, I just made a, a sloped roof, which from the top, if you would look from the top, it uh, it had the, the firm of a, of a cross. But uh, that might change in the future too. Well, I think it's time to wrap up today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like my build, then feel free to hit the thumbs up button. And if you have comments or suggestions on how I should proceed, then feel free to post those in the comment section below the video as well. As usual, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Not only do you help me reach my next subscri subscriber goal, but you will also get notified when I post new content to the channel. Well, that being said, I think it's time to wrap up today's episode. So until next time, have fun and stay safe. Bye.